throughout February, the world center of racing <laughs> really starts to roar. These coming days are going to be especially exciting as the Daytona International Speedway prepares for the great American race. Oh, that's just a small little race we have here <laughs> every year, right? And joining us now to talk about all things racing is president of the Daytona International Speedway, Frank Kelleher. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on. And congratulations on, on the new title. I mean, you were telling us during the commercial break, you started as an intern. I did. So born and raised in Northeast Pennsylvania, I did an internship with NASCAR 21 years ago. Uh, went back home, finished my senior year of school, and was fortunate enough that 30 days before I graduated, they offered me a job. So I left all the cold and the snow and <laughs> PA guy. in the rearview mirror. I've uh, been 20 years now with the company and been, have been in this role now for 18 months. And it's just, it's been a blast. It's uh Amazing events that we host and just awesome people that I get to work with every day. Yeah. Long way from those days as an intern, I bet. Yes, <laughs> yes, very much so. When it comes to things always being new, but the tradition staying the same, what can we look forward to this year? Because things are about to kick off. Sure. So this year, things I would highlight being unique, you mentioned it leading into this, it will be the 75th anniversary of NASCAR. Wow. So I just think that's such a cool story of NASCAR legit started on the beaches in Daytona. And now 75 years later, it is a global property um, and a multi-billion dollar industry. Specific to the Daytona 500, this is the 65th run. Running. So a lot of uh, amazing traditions that we'll have, the pageantry of our pre-race, the Thunderbirds doing the flyover. We always have an outstanding concert prior to the event. This year it'll be Dirk Bentley. And just the fan interaction and engagement. Unlike any other sport, our fans get to get up real close to the cars and to the drivers. It's a huge family event, so we're ready to get rolling. Yeah, I feel like NASCAR, it's not just like, oh, let's go see a race. Like, it is a whole experience. Like I was telling you when I first moved down here and went to cover some Thing in the infield, I mean, it is a community, an experience, a full immersive situation. I mean, is that part of what makes it so special? For sure. I mean, next Saturday, I'm sorry, next Sunday, February 19th, uh, 50th, uh, 65th running of the Daytona 500, all 50 states will be represented. Uh, we'll have 37 countries being represented as well. And all those people leave friends because they are there for an entire week together um, and they have an opportunity to build a tradition and they look forward to seeing each other year over year. Yeah, they're not camping, they're glamping. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I mean, the tickets can you know, sell out. I mean, I, of course, during the pandemic, it was... Things got a little rough, but I mean, it seems like the crowds are bigger and better than ever now. Yeah, so we were fortunate enough that a few weeks ago we announced that the grandstands and camping are 100% sold out for the Daytona 500. There still are some options to come and check out the Daytona 500, um, and this is now the second year in a row that we sold out right after the new year, which I really think just speaks overall to the health of the sport and the interest. Last year we had just under 9 million folks tuning in. We were broadcasted in over 200 countries, so the, the interest in the sport is through the roof right now. And it's a different experience being out there. What would you say to somebody who's like, mm, you know, this may not be, I'm not interested in car racing. What would you say to them about why it is so amazing to go out there? Uh, the, the support that we get from our corporate partners, um, our midway area outside the venue, I mean, it's almost like going to an amusement park mm -hmm. to where Toyota, Sunoco, General Motors, Advent Health, they are there to entertain you for hours and to give you gifts and meet drivers and mm -hmm. autographs. And then when you go through the gate and you sit in your seat and you actually hear the cars fire up and then 200 miles an hour, 40 people mm -hmm. pushing each other, mm -hmm. yeah. it's, I mean, it's hard to put into words yeah. what that feels like and what that experience is. And after a couple of laps and you look around, you're like, all right, I get it. This yeah. is cool. I want to come exactly. back. Exactly. And you do feel it. Oh, that's for sure. <laughs> you might feel it for days to come. Yeah. yeah. You might need to wipe your face off depending on how close you are. <laughs> that's for sure. Track. And there's just so much development and excitement happening in and around the Speedway as well. So that's promising, too. Oh, yes. Uh, the Speedway itself, Daytona International Speedway, the economic impact on an annual basis is right around $800 million. So in particular, our community rebuilding after two named hurricanes. We're excited to be sold out to have these big events to help bolster our community back on its feet. Um, and yeah, I mean, Tuesday night at One Daytona, we do a hauler showcase. Uh, it's a free event for families to come out and see the haulers before they actually drive into the infield. Mm -hmm. So every night starting on Tuesday, Wednesday night qualifying, Thursday night is our duel. Um, and then Friday night, we welcome back the Craftsman Truck Series. Saturday is a double header. So there's a ton going on, on at the track as well as in the community around us. 
What are you most excited about? I know that's like asking someone their favorite child, but what are you most <laughs> excited about for the upcoming season? Um, so last season was really electric. Uh, we had 19 different winners, five first-time winners. We had more passes for the lead under the green flag ever in all 75 years That's of great. racing. So yeah. our young drivers are really getting a reputation. They're really making a name for themselves. So the action on the track, I think, is second to none. So for me, looking at, at the season as a whole, that's something I get excited about. But there is something really magical about the pre-race of the Daytona 500. Um, the tribute to this country, the flyover, uh, in the world of sports, I don't think there's anything that comes close. And when it comes to outreach as well, you're able to make such an impact in the community. Uh, agreed, yes. You know, I love my job and the big events that we do, but uh, being married and raising two little kids as well in Volusia County and being involved day to day in the backyard is something very special to me, as well as the France family and everyone that works at the Speedway. So that's volunteering our time, that's working with Volusia County Schools. We'll be honoring the Teachers of the Year on Friday night during the truck race to other just nonprofits in the backyard. Uh, it's very important in us to be authentic and to be available to our community. Okay, well, I have my ear, my earmuff yes. things ready to rock and roll for this coming weekend. That's what they're called, right? Earmuff things. Yeah, like you want to look on Amazon. You know, the NASCAR earmuff things. Yeah. We, we joked about, you know, selling, selling off chances maybe for charity to drive around the track more. Is that something that you'd like to see? We, yeah, <laughs> we actually do it. Interested, we, we actually do it. Yeah, uh, with the NASCAR Foundation, fans have an opportunity to come up, make a donation, and they get to drive their personal vehicle around the track. Now, granted, you, it, there's it, a speed limit. It's a controlled. About lap. This earlier. Yeah, it's yeah. a controlled lap, but still, you're out there on the high bank. Oh my yes. gosh, I think my old Mazda could maybe hit 60. I'm ready Ooh. to go. <laughs> Might get a ticket. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're excited about the upcoming season. Oh. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Have a great day.